I managed to like time it perfectly to lose the maximum. This hand is underway, and Nui has been dealt out, uh, having taken a short break. I took a short break to discuss his admiration for Seaver. <laughs> he admired that 20000 that Seaver paid him off last time. Exactly. Hand. There's a nice Armani hoodie of Roble. Red Kings for Doug. Roble, Ace Queen. And I think we're going to see Roble three bet Doug here. You are correct. 9000 Falls back to Polk. And Doug could call, but I think he's going to four bet here more often than call. Calling is fine. But considering that he four bets with real bad hands, uh -huh. he should be four betting with real good hands. He raises to 22,500. He started the hand with 126,000, or about 9% of what Robo has. <laughs> when you put it like that. Right? I'm on. There he goes. Whoa. How about that? Well, you remember, AJ, I was questioning some of Polk's pre-flop raises. Very good price. Whatever you want. Cool. That price is good. Re-raising a lot with, with some pretty bad hands, but look at what he's done now. He's, he's earned <laughs> this situation, and Andrew really took a stand and, and just said, enough is enough. And they're going to run it twice. <laughs> Queen 85 on the first flop gives Rubble some help. And there it is. Oh. <laughs> and you, you'd really, you wouldn't know it by looking at either one of them. Wow. Polk now with two outs. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my. Oh. That was a fun one. <laughs> Rubble looks ready to kill somebody. Oh. Although he looked that way when he hit the queen oh, as well. Sure. So yeah. Hard to read. <laughs> I think it's all the aces are alive, though, so it's like... Big dramatic win in the first flop. 5-10-4, not so much drama here. Robo still looking for an ace or running straight cards. Five on the turn, no help, and Polk just has to dodge an ace. Fade one spot. And he does. It's a nice double up for Doug Polk, who wins both runs. And the $255,000 pot. Sure is.